Alright, you folks uh, interested in seeing another video here during your uh, days of quarantine? I'm going to tie you up a little blowtorch. One of my favorite flies to tie, one of my favorite flies to fish. Real effective, super effective fly. Not too bad to tie, rather simple. The uh, thread we're going to use is a 75 denier. It's a pretty bright uh, thread. A little uh, golden uh, antron for the tail. Bead's going to be, uh, let's see, a little brass bead, 330 seconds. Got a barbless jig fly hook. Size 14 from uh, Risen Fly Fishing. They were supposed to have a grand opening. I didn't hear anything about it. I'm sure it's canceled for now, but we'll see. They have an online store, just not uh, not the brick and mortar yet. Just a little peacock curl for the body. So not the best batch of peacock. It, uh, it's real thin. I uh, bought it at a local shop. They only had one available. This was the last pickings. Bought it anyway. I mean, it's it's been working, but it's real thin and, and breaks real easily. But I'm going to show you how to avoid that. Going to use uh, some. Let's see, Rignet pheasant skin. The whole uh, whole bird, basically. It's a female hen. I'm going to use the uh, feathers down by the rump here. They're, uh, I already peeled some off. They're perfect for this project here. A little ultra wire. It's a uh, size, uh, does it even say size? It says size small. Chartreuse. A little lead. It's going to use uh, 010 lead, just a little bit, a couple wraps only. That's it. A little Sally Hansen's. Dab with the super glue. And that's going to be all we need, I think. Alright. Let's, uh, let's show you the fish. Fish is actually, uh, got two fish. One is a uh, really nice rainbow. It uh, was sitting right next to that uh, big golden rainbow that uh, you've seen on a previous video, video. And you'll be able to see them on this video here. I was throwing different things at him, and uh, the fish around him were taking them before he did. So you'll see uh, what I thought was neat about this video when I watched it back is how the fish that took the fly uh, actually moved a little bit. You see a big flash in the water. I didn't see that when I was fishing, but uh, the camera caught it real nicely. You see a big flash, and a second later I set the hook as soon as I see the... Uh, the line stopped. It never did fill it, fill it, but it just stopped dead and I thought, you know, it's either a rock or a fish. It happened to be a fish. And you, uh, the second fish is a really nice brown trout. Unfortunately, the uh, camera died. I heard the uh, camera start beeping, so I reached up, tried to turn it back on again, and it, uh, it caught a couple more seconds of the uh, catch but it never really did catch a good view of the fish. But you see, it's a really nice side brown trout. I'm guessing 15, 16 inches. So it was a decent fish. Ended up having a big hook jaw on them. Nice big teeth. Wish I would have had a better picture of that one, but, you know, camera died. Nothing I can do about that other than next time I'll change the battery more often, I guess. So, okay. All right, let's uh, show you the fish, and then I'm going to show you how to tie this fly, which is... One of my favorites. All right, let's get to it. Blowtorch. All right. Good size. 
good size blue fish. Say hi to the camera. All right. Nice looking fish. Come on. Dig. All right, let's get to tying this fly here. Got the hook and the bead in the vise there. Go ahead and grab your lead. Just put a couple wraps on it, not too many, maybe three. One, two, three. That should be enough. Good, wrap that around there a little bit. Okay, grab your super glue, just put a little dab on the hook there. Press it into the bead. Take your thread. Go ahead and start it up. Press it against the lead there. Work your way back, cut the tag end off. Take your thread all the way back past the bend of the hook here, just uh, right about there. Back up. I'm going to take that antron. Lay it on top. And go ahead and spin that thread up just a little bit. Go ahead tie it in. Take it right back. I like it pointing down just a little bit after I cut it off. So that should be good there. About like that. Gonna take your wire, you know, tie that in. And now you're going to take your peacock curl. Like I said before, this is not the best peacock curl I've ever had. Pack was the last pack on the shelf at a local shop, and I grabbed it. And knowing that it wasn't looking too pretty, but I really needed it. But it's thin and it breaks easy. But I'm going to show you how to deal with that. Uh, take your thread all the way back down to where you left off with everything else there. Alright, right back to the front. Now grab your peacock. I got four strands here, which, whatever, however thick you want it, two, three, four, and go ahead. Without a lot of pressure, just spin your rotary vise. Right back to the front. Do one more wrap here. Alright, so go ahead and tie it off.
around the collar here, you want to be mindful how many thread wraps you're actually doing because you don't want a super duper thick collar, which this fly has a tendency to do naturally. Go ahead, cut away your harrow here and save this. I always put these in an old pill bottle and save them for tails on something else, which they work great for. Alright, so go ahead, take your wire, you want to counter wrap, I think it's about five or so. Three, four, five. Go ahead, wrap that in. Now you want to go ahead and helicopter that off. Okay. Looking pretty good. Now you want to take your feather that you prepped. All I did basically was take a take a feather, strip all the fluffy stuff off the bottom there. Stripped it down to about the size I needed. And come up with this. You want to lay the good side facing up. Lay it right on top. Leaving a little stem there to capture it all in with. And there you go. Go ahead and cut away your excess. Let's make sure that's good and tight there because you don't want it coming out. Alright. Take your hackle pliers. Grab a hold of the stem. And stroke each other's back. Go ahead and tie that off. Get it away. While holding everything, make sure you tie it off real good here. Like I told you before, it's going to naturally build up a thick collar around this, so just be mindful of that when you're, when you're tying it. Take your whip finish tool. Good. Put the thread away. And now you need a little toothbrush. Push everything back this way. What you're doing, you're just separating all the fibers from each other there. Gonna make it look pretty. I like he's floating like this going down the going down the stream. It's like legs flying around everywhere. How's that look? Looks pretty good, huh? Supposed to be a little buggy. So I like using this uh, this pheasant it sticks out real nice like this. Alright, go ahead and Take your Sally Hansons. And 
and you're done. Got yourself a little blowtorch. Very effective fly. Caught a lot of fish on these. In fact, the uh, few years back when I first started tying them, that's about the only nymph I would fish. It's pretty. It's real attractive to the fish. The uh, peacock earl is a very good attractant. And everything else you got going on there, it, uh, they just can't say no. Try it out. Tell me what you think about it. If you like it, give me a subscribe, give me a like. If you don't like it, tell me why you don't like it and what you do differently to it. I actually like it like this. It's just a little more buggy, a little more, uh, I don't know, edible, I think. If I was a fish, I'd eat this. Alright, thanks for watching. If you uh, have any questions, leave me a comment. I'll hopefully, I'll get back to you quickly. We'll see you.